Hello everyone, welcome back. So we were doing chapter three, question number five, Joseph Hegelian, ninth edition. What the question says, without actually computing the orders, we have to explain why the two elements in each of the following ordered pairs from Z30 must have same order. So for Z30, these two are considered. And for U15, these two are considered. So let us see why are these happening. So this is a direct corollary of question number four that I have said already that I'll be writing here, which is order of A and B. A inverse are equal. Okay, so this is the question number four that order of an element and its inverse are equal. We will be using this. So, first of all, we will be talking in Z30. So, two belongs to Z30. Okay, let us consider order of two as n. Whatsoever be the order, I am not saying what is the order. I just have to show that both have same order. If you try to find the inverse of 2, I have already said that what is the inverse of 2 or inverse of an element in Zn is basically n minus that element, which is equals to 28. So now you get it. Why 2 inverse is 28? So this implies that order of two is equals to order of two inverse. So which is equals to order of 28. So which implies order of two is equals to order of 28. Similarly for eight. Okay, similarly for eight. So what we have order of eight is equals to order of eight inverse, which is equals to order of 30 minus eight which is equals to order of 22, okay? So this is the reason why these two have same order. Now I have to do the same for the following pairs of element from U15. Again, for what happens for U15? So suppose order of two is K. U15 I'm talking. Oh, let me change the color. So in U15, I have order of 2 as K. Now, if you see the inverse of 2 is 8. Why? Because 8 times 2 is equals to 16, which is congruent to 1 mod 15. So from here, you can say that 2 inverse is equals to 8. And from the corollary or the from the theorem of question number 4, you can say that order of 2 is equals to order of 8. Similarly, for order of 7 is equals to order of 30. I hope this is clear by a simple equation or simple theorem. You should always remember theorems, its proof, its uh, basic things in proof like how to prove that or the steps in proof, corollaries. These all help, these all help in solving problems a lot. Thank you.